There are loads of reasons why every Final Cut Pro editor should be using Audio Design Desk and the whopping 50 or 80% Black Friday discount is only one of the reasons. Here are 10 more reasons why every Final Cut Pro editor needs this incredible app. I'm going to use this short little trailer from the movie Smile. So I'll just open up my Audio Design Desk Audio Bridge extension and I'll open up the app. It takes a few seconds to open up, but once Audio Design Desk is open, you'll see that my timeline here in Audio Design Desk is linked to my timeline in Final Cut Pro. Here are a bunch of the shortcut keys you can use to add these various types of sounds. So what I'll do here is I'll look for where we cut from black to the very first clip and I'll hit H for a hit. I'll move forward until we have the next cut right there. I'll hit H again for another hit and I'll do the same on this third cut. And then when we cut from this shot to the close up, I'm going to add a hit sound effect and I'm going to hit T to add a transition sound effect and then I'll move forward and on this shot I'm going to hit H again for another hit and when we cut to black here behind the title I'm going to hit H for a hit, T for transition and R for a rise sound effect and I'll go to the very beginning and I'll hit D for a drone sound effect. I can go forward here to the shot of the city and I'll hit C to cut this clip, F to create a fade I'll hit A to select my arrow tool and I'll delete that clip. And in just a couple of seconds, this is what we've been able to create. But what if you wanted to replace some of these sounds? Well, that brings me to reason number two. I can easily hit Command A to select all of the clips and then Command R to replace those clips. Just like that, we have a totally new composition. Amazing, but I could also be more thoughtful about how I replace these sounds. Let's hit Command A to select all of these sounds again. This time I'll go to the Replace window. I'll now go into the Fields section under the Replace window, and I'll select Intense, Dark, and under genre, maybe I'll select horror as well. Now when I hit command R, all of these sounds have been replaced with sounds that match these categories that I've selected here. And this is what that sounds like. Which is awesome. Again, you can select all the clips and you can do this multiple times until you find a mix that works for you. Another thing you can do is to select by type. So I can go and select all the hits and I can say I want those to be really intense hits. So it's only going to select the most intense hits in this library. You can select either from very low intensity to very high intensity and you can do the same with complexity. So let's set a 4 and 5 complexity and I'll hit Command R. And lastly, let's say I really like this drone sound effect, but I wanted something slightly different from the same pack. I can hit Shift R to open up the replace window. And now I have all of these different options that I can preview with the spacebar. Let's say I like that one. I'll just hit replace. I'll scrub to where the shot of the city comes in here and I'm going to hit C to make a cut again, F for a fade, which I can just drag like that, A for the arrow tool and I'll delete this part of the clip. And let's have a listen to our sound design for this little trailer intro. I'll ignore this intro bit because we've already done some sound design there. But let's say from here we want to start adding sounds automatically when we import this project from Final Cut Pro to Audio Design Desk. So what I'll do is I'll look for the frame where this starts and I'll hit M to add a marker and I'll hit M a second time. And in the marker name, I'm going to hit D for a drone sound effect and I'll click on done. So if you remember the list of shortcuts from before, I can run through adding markers with just those shortcut keys in the marker title to really quickly create our first draft of sound design when I go into Audio Design Desk. So let's add a couple more. Right here when we cut to this woman walking in the room, let's have a marker for a hit sound effect. And I'll go one frame back and I'll add another marker. A nice quick way to do it is double tap M for a rise. Scrub through here. I'll add another hit 
And now I won't make you watch me add markers for the rest of this edit. I'm going to quickly speed that up. Just adding markers for each of the very important elements. We can always tweak that in Audio Design Desk, but watch how cool this is when you take it into Audio Design Desk. With that done, I can simply drag this project and drop it onto the Send Session Data option. And then when I open up Audio Design Desk, I automatically have all of these markers with the appropriate sounds. I'll select all of them, change the genre to horror in my replace window, and I'm also going to go back and select dark and intense and just replace all of those sounds. So let's play that back after this intro. So going into this aerial shot over here, I can also see that this goes way past where I want it to be. So I'm just going to bring that back, fade that out. This drone sound effect as well. I'm just going to fade that out. Cool. Let's play that back. So now we've added a whole lot of sound design elements in, but we need to add some sound effects. And the main difference there in this case, at least, is that the sound design elements are hits, transitions, rises, intangibles, whereas the sound effects would be things that you would see on screen, like a door slamming. So we had one over here, let me zoom in. We had one over here where the door slams. So let's say I wanna put a door slam sound effect right here as the door closes. I can do that using the shortcut option G because what that'll do is create a magic marker. And then no matter how many times I replace that sound effect, it'll always maintain that sync point. So let's look for door slam and I can preview some of these sounds here. That large door was probably the best. So I'm going to hit shift return to just add that to my timeline and you'll find it down here at the bottom. So let's have a listen to that. This drone effect and this one that I've got over here, I might actually shorten this one a little bit and fade it out somewhat. And I'll drop the volume of this effect, maybe of the drone a little bit as well. And now on the door, I want to add an effect. So I can hit Shift G, that'll bring up my effects and let's add some reverb. Let's just use this one. We'll add quite a bit of reverb and hear what that sounds like. Perfect. Let's assume at this point that we're done with the sound design and sound effects, and we want to bring this back into Final Cut Pro. We've got two options. We can click on bounce, which will bounce out this project. And then we can simply drag and drop that into the timeline. And there we go. We have our sound design. The other option is to import the project. And in that case, I'm just going to drag and drop this into the timeline. I'll say keep both because it's going to rename that with a one at the end. And I can go and grab all of these sound effects, hit Command C, go back to my trailer here, I can delete the bounce, and I'll hit Command V to paste. I personally like doing it this way because if I decide I need to just shift the timing slightly or change the volume of a clip, I can do all of that within Final Cut just as a sort of final tweak before I export this project. This one is such a time saver. So I'm going to head over to the search panel and I'm going to search my library for grass footsteps because I have this clip here of this person walking through the grass and I want to add these footsteps in real time. So let's preview some of these. Cool, these will all work. I'll select these and I'm going to drag and drop them onto a trigger key. In this case, I'll just use six because it's an unused one. And if I pull this up, you can see that assigned to key number six, we have all of these different footstep sounds. So now all I need to do is hit play. And every time there's a footstep, I can hit six on my keyboard to randomly add one of these sound effects. So here we go. And just like that, I've added these footsteps in real time. Normally this would have taken so much longer because you'd have to sync up each sound effect one at a time. Let's go ahead and search for some ambient sounds, right? Let's say we're looking for a field. That windy field is quite nice. I'll hit shift return to add that to my timeline. And let's add some birds.
That's quite nice. I'll hit shift return to add that as well. So now we've brought some life to the scene. And this brings me to reason number six. All of the sound effects you've heard so far come with Audio Design Desk and they have loads of great sound effects in the library. So I'll head over to the library and open up the sound packs over here. And you can see you have a bunch of different categories, ambience categories, foley, footsteps, music, sound design, and there's loads of ones for free. There are some that you can purchase as well. But if I have a look here under new releases, here are a bunch of horror effects that would have been really nice for the example we used earlier. Haunted, modern horror. So there's some great sound effects here that you can download. And once they're downloaded, they'll be available in your library here. And they'll also be available in your search and replace windows with the correct sync points identified and the metadata to help you to search and replace those sound effects as well. Over and above Audio Design Desk's amazing library of sounds, you can also import your own sounds. So I'll hit Command I to open up the import window, and then I can just drag and drop these files, right? I have some glitches, some whooshes, and some grass footstep effects. So now we have all of these individual sound effects in the import window. What you can do is select all of them. Let's just deselect these footsteps for now and hit Command Shift G to guess the sync point in all of these clips. Now, if you cycle through them, you'll see you've got these sync markers that ADD has identified. You can, of course, go and edit them if you need to, if you want it to be at the beginning of a glitch. But if you're using it as a transition, it might be quite nice for it to be somewhere here. Same with these whoosh sound effects. The sync markers have been identified at the peak of that whoosh. You can obviously also add certain metadata, choose the intensity and complexity, add keywords, anything that will help Audio Design Desk identify these files. A lot of it, it does automatically based on the file name and the folder name. So if you keep your sound effects organized, that'll help a lot as well when importing your own sound effects. Let's have a look at this footstep sound effect. In this one, you'll see we've got loads of different individual steps in this one file. You can go and make a selection on each footstep and hit U to mark these as different elements within the same clip. But better yet, you can hit Option U to use the element detector to do it automatically. You just need to slide the threshold to the right level and then Audio Design Desk will see each of these steps as individual sounds. And then you can import all of these new sounds. Traditionally, if you're searching for sound effects or music online, you might try play it back while watching the video and you think it's a good fit. So you download the track with a sound effect. And then once you've got it on the timeline, you realize it's not actually a good fit and you've got to go back and do it all over again. With Audio Design Desk, you can simply add music hitting the Z shortcut key. And in real time while playing it back, you can hit Command R to replace the track. As we've done before, you can head over to the genre and you can choose something that you think will fit the shot a little more. So let's go emotional drama and we want it pretty low intensity. I'll hit Command R again and let's see what we've got. So you're able to stay in the creative zone. You don't have to leave Final Cut Pro and Audio Design Desk and go browse other websites and waste time trying to get those sounds and those music tracks into your edit. I spoke about not leaving Final Cut Pro to find sound effects and music, but what if you do need to leave the app for Final Mix? Maybe you need to mix your video in Pro Tools or to pass your audio off to someone else to mix for you. Now, Final Cut Pro doesn't allow you to natively export an OMF or AAF file, which has been something I've wanted for a long time. But with Audio Design Desk, you simply head over to File, Export, AAF or XML. And then you can choose a Pro Tools AAF file and checking this Open After Export button will automatically launch Pro Tools and open the AAF after export. Audio Design Desk makes use of loads of shortcuts to speed up your workflow. I've gone over many of them for adding sounds and replacing sounds, but there are many other shortcuts you can use like Command Up and Down, which will replace the sound with a longer or shorter sound. So Command Up makes it longer, Command Down will replace it with shorter sounds. Let's say you really like this sound, you can also use the shortcut E to time stretch the sound effect, which will make it shorter or longer, but will keep the same pitch and tone. You can use shift up or down to increase the volume and you can use option shift up or down to change the pitch. 
Another handy shortcut is V, which will allow you to reverse the clip, keeping the sync point at the same place. And there are so many more once you get into using Audio Design Desk on a regular basis. And this really helps you to create sound design and add sound effects in an efficient and fast way. As you can tell, Audio Design Desk is packed with loads of great features and is super powerful. If you want to speed up your audio workflow, up your sound design game and make your video sound better, then go ahead and click on the link down below to get that Black Friday discount. If you want to see another in-depth tutorial on Audio Design Desk, then check this video out next.